<laughs> MSI sent me the Z270 Gaming Pro carbon board to take a look at. This is quite an interesting board that sits at a fairly low price point for the features it provides. Obviously the back of the box talks about all the main things, so Mystic Light and Audio Boost. It does actually have an M.2 shield, which is a sort of heat shield for your M.2 SSDs, and actually worked quite well, it's a, a nice thing. This uh, model comes with an RGB LED strip, which is actually quite nice. You also have your usual bits, the IO shield, manual and all that sort of thing. Now the board itself is quite stylish, obviously has carbon fibre accents, hence the carbon name, and does also have some RGB elements in the rear IO cover and in the uh, chipset down at the bottom there. As you can see, it's quite stylish and you can control that all in software, as well as the connected LED strips. Along with the M.2 shield and the audio boost setup, you also have reinforced PCI slots in the top two X16 slots, which is quite nice for big heavy graphics cards. You also have a, a sort of reinforced or shielded M.2 slot for, I guess, ESD protection. You also have just a single 8-pin up the top to power it, as well as reinforced RAM slots if you really want to. You also have this VR boost chip slightly hidden away, which I believe is meant to give better power delivery uh, for your you know, VR headsets and that sort of thing, so it's there if you want it. You also have your LED headers on the bottom to the left-hand side, as well as a full set of uh, USB 2 SATA ports and all that sort of thing down the bottom, as well as two front panel USB 3, not 3.1, uh, sort of front panel headers. They're the sort of technically older style. You also have two sets of two right angled SATA connectors to match the other two SATA ports on the bottom. Otherwise, the rear IO is quite nice. You do have USB 2, which is nice to see for backwards compatibility, but you also have USB 3.1 Type C as well as 3.1 Gen 2, 3.1 Gen 1, gigabit Ethernet, and a nice audio setup. Also, for the time being, from February onwards, you can get a free Fantex LED strip which actually looks really nice, as you can see, matches perfectly with the motherboard when you plug it into that LED header, and actually it just looks really nice in the Fantex N2 Evolve, as you can see, I really do like the styling of this board, the LED strip and the case. The BIOS is absolutely fantastic, it still has the Game Boost option, although it's just on or off, navigating it is very easy, it's nice and detailed, overclocking is really easy, it's just fantastic, the hardware monitor options are brilliant, I love the granular control you can get, and the board explorer is brilliant, I wish more people had this uh, feature it's very easy to use very simple and absolutely love it for me this is kind of the budget version of their m7 board the m7 for me is still my kind of favorite z270 board it really is fantastic and this one shares a lot of common traits the bios is still fantastic it's easy to use the board explorer feature is still in there and it's very nice set uh, you know nice to use very easy as i said overclocking is still really easy you don't have the game boost dial on the motherboard you do still have game boost built into the bios though although you only have one setting on or off. That overclocks an i5-7600K to 4.5 gigahertz, which is obviously a nice uh, sort of tune-up as such, so that isn't too bad, and I expect that it would overclock an i7-7700K uh, to something in the area of 4.8 or 4.9 gigahertz. So again, that's a very nice, easy option if you just want your, your turnkey performance, so that's quite nice. Aesthetically, the board is actually quite nice. It's not uh, kind of too flashy like some of the other motherboards in this category, and uh, one of the things I want to mention is that after February, they're including the RGB LED strip in uh, in the box as such, you know, when you purchase one of these boards while stocks last and all of that, uh, you will get one of these Fantex uh, RGB LED strips with your motherboard, so that's quite a nice touch if you want to, you know, RGBify your PC, and obviously it's nice just to have a, a spare LED strip and all that, but uh, yeah, either way, uh, as I said, I do rather like the styling. Overall, it is a quite impressive motherboard. I don't really have too many cons for this. I mean, it's a pretty good price. It has really easy overclocking features. The BIOS is absolutely great. You know, it's very easy to use and uh, just a really nice experience. And uh, as I said, it fits, you know, you can run SLI, you've got nice NVMe support as well as that M.2 shield if you want to keep your NVMe SSDs cool. You have a decent rear IO, you've got USB 3.1 Gen 2 and Type-C. So as I said, it's a very nice BIOS, uh, it's a very nice board and uh, there's nothing that I can really complain about. In terms of scoring, I think I'm going to go for a 4.5 value for money, a 5 for performance. I think I'm going to have to go with a 5 for function a 5 for styling, and I think a 5 for Tech Team GB score and a gold award. It's a fantastic motherboard and I highly recommend it if you're looking for somewhere in the budget range of Z270 boards, especially if you can't afford the M7, this is a really great shout. If you want to pick up this motherboard, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below for uh, Overclockers UK and a worldwide Amazon link for you too, so feel free to use those if you want to support me or just check out the price and all that sort of thing. And if you want to support me further, support the channel and all that sort of thing, then please use the more generic 
direct links to the Overclockers UK or the Worldwide Amazon links in the description down below. It does genuinely help me out. It keeps these videos running, supports the channel and all that sort of stuff. So please do use those when you can and otherwise, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, let me know what you thought of the motherboard in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.